Volker, SMA entered the PV diesel hybrid market. What are the most important challenges for us in the future? Well, I see two major challenges. There's a technological challenge because these systems have to be stable under any kind of operation. So adding PV means getting an economic benefit, but it also puts the system stability at hazard. And so what we have to do is have a system set up have a system control that is allowing maximum stability, which is the, the first uh, goal for the operator of the system. So, meaning control algorithms, control systems, which are guaranteeing stable operation. SMA provides a first reference site at South Africa. Can you tell us some more details about this application? Yeah, sure. This is quite an interesting reference because it's completely meeting our scope of supply. We are providing a system for a mining company in South Africa, one megawatt PV connected to two megawatts of um, diesel gen sets with a controller on board controlling the energy, just keeping the system sterile. And we can substitute at least 450,000 uh, liters of fuel for every year with this first situation or this first installation will allow us to show feasibility, show economic feasibility as well and uh, for us it's some sort of a footprint or a blueprint for other installations. Okay, thank you very much. So Greg, being from SMA America, could you tell us a little more about the uniqueness of SMA in your country? Absolutely. So this is a great example of the uniqueness of SMA products in this inverter here. This is a new TL22, and has a couple of different features in it, uh, one of which is required by our national electric code, and it's an arc fault circuit interrupter. The AFCI in this inverter, and other inverters that we're going to uh, launch as well, are the only inverters in North America that do comply with this specific national electric code article. There's also a really neat feature in this inverter called an emergency power switch so that when the grid goes down, all you have to do is push a button on this switch and the inverter will then send power instead of the electrical outlet that it normally would, it would send it to this emergency power switch. So now you have power when the grid is down and the sun is up. Incredible. Nobody else has that. Mm -hmm.